recording is being recorded. Bring yourself to a comfortable Uh oh, Jane just disappeared, I think. Let me just text her and let her know. Well, it was me. Totally on me. I'm so sorry. My uh, mouse was in the wrong place and I clicked on it. So let's begin uh, again. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat and I will sound the bell again for editing purposes. Welcome to mindfulness meditation. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat, one that you can hold for a while. It can be cross-legged, standing or lying. Just have a sense of dignity about yourself, an uprightness with the intention to honor your presence, to honor yourself, to be with mindfulness as we practice together. Notice what is happening in this very moment. Allow your eyes to close if you haven't already and turn up the corners of your mouth in a slight smile. Bring your attention to your breath, just the movement of your breath, sensing it in your body, sensing it in connection to yourself sensing your intimacy with your breath. May our time for mindfulness bring you closer to your heart. May our time for mindfulness bring healing and less stress. May our time for mindfulness together bring stillness and peace. We're now learning to fly on our own, choosing to have a relationship with what it means to be mindful, to focus, to stay in attention or, as I always say, paying attention without judgment to one or two things for just a little while. One or two out of many, many, many things that pass through our lives, our circumstances, our feelings, our thoughts, our bodies, the sensations that happen from minute to minute, second to second, all the happenings around, in and out of us, learning to let go, learning not to be attached to anything.
we continue to pursue this idea that everything around us can be a gift or a distraction. So as you settle in, practice this idea, notice what's happening, what is going on right now, right here, as you sit. Notice how busy or not busy. Notice how comfortable or uncomfortable. Notice how focused or unfocused. And let these words float over what's going on for you. Imagine yourself as your oak tree, spine elongating and tall, head striving toward the sky and the light, and your trunk and your roots, your feet, growing into the earth, Mother Earth, rich soil, alive with life, and holding you strong as the roots grow deeply. Relax your jaw and your face muscles, your forehead. Let your shoulders go and feel the space between your ears and your shoulders get longer and let them relax. Your fingers loosen. You sense the trunk of your tree, your mid-body, the pelvis in a chair. Relax and feel the hips widen and the spine lengthen and the back of your neck get a little bit longer, tilting your chin perhaps a little bit down. You are being caressed by the earth and the sky and the air, dangling in your own universe, suspended in time and space, right here, right now, creating a sense of intimacy with you, mindfully setting, settling in to what you find right here. So be with that. Be with yourself.
there's a description that one of my teachers, John kabat talks about. He says, every moment we are arriving at our own door. Every moment we could open it. In every moment we might love again the stranger who was our self, who knows us. Arriving at our own door is mindfulness meditation. When we settle into our own bodies, even for a few moments, either at the end of the day or the beginning of the day or during the day or many times a day, Part of our intention to learn to fly is to practice in a mindful way this arriving at our own door and understanding that nothing is permanent and everything is always changing whether we like it or not. Even as we sit here right now, there is movement, your body, your breath, sounds, thoughts, everything keeps shifting. The idea of choiceless awareness as the intention is to see if we can experience whatever comes and just realize that that is happening. That is, in fact, meditation. Aware that you're focused enough to notice what's going on, to recognize it and spend a few moments being with this thought, being with this idea, just noticing as you allow all the noise to be there and just to see what happens the whole of your life as it is right here, right now. And of course, if it gets unbearable, you can use the objects of our practice, which are the breath, a sound or sounds, an emotion that's happening, a sensation, just focusing on that one thing and that is what we are practicing so go ahead and practice
whatever you have found, just give yourself permission kindly and generously to allow whatever is there to be. Maybe you noticed or you recognized some feelings of discomfort or agitation, fear, and sometimes that leads to wanting to control the discomfort, to wanting it to be different because this is supposed to be meditation and we're not supposed to feel all that stuff. That is not correct. In fact, it is the noticing and the feeling of it and embracing it as it is without trying to change it that is where the value of being mindful lies. It's an uncomfortable sometimes position not to be able to sit still and simply be peaceful in the gut with whatever we find. Just mindfully aware and accepting without judgment. Whatever is going on with the breath, the body, the mind, we allow in the best sense to have chosen to show up here for meditation and to see if we can achieve a bit of quieting. It's so simple, but it's so not simple. Trying to be quiet for just a few moments at a time. That's all this is about. And in choiceless awareness, we just allow any or all of the objects in our consciousness any feelings, just to be there and experience whatever comes up. Welcome whatever you find. The difficulties, the joys, the happies, the sads, the angers, the resentments, the planning, the doings, the remembering, and just try to find the spaces in between and stop and notice. Stop and pay attention. And each time a little bit longer and voila, you're meditating consciously aware. Explore it right now.
There's a little exercise that I'd like to present as a way to practice. Life presents all kinds of experiences that introduce potential struggle in our lives, says Pema Chodron. One way that you can train in meeting the experiences with full presence or mindfulness wholeheartedly is by using a simple activity as the object of the meditation. For example, washing the dishes or taking a shower. We're training in the process of waking up. You can put your mind on that activity as your object and stay with it rather than struggle against it. And if the mind wanders, what do we do? Just like we do when we're sitting, we train the puppy, we bring it back to the activity. So just pick something maybe today or tomorrow or whenever you think of it. And select something that feels pretty routine and basic, like shower or eating. Eating is a really good one. <clears throat> Every day you put food on your fork or spoon, bring the food into your mouth, chew it, and put the fork or the spoon down. Choose any activity that doesn't require thinking, or at least very little thinking. And choose something that's repetitious, that you do over and over again. Something that probably has become what we might say mindless a mindless activity. I do it brushing my teeth. It could be touching computer keys or folding the laundry. And your meditation is training yourself to be fully present, washing the dishes, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, eating breakfast, walking to the train, walking to the car, getting into the car, driving to work. We're simply training the practice of presence and it is a practice so for example you've chosen to come here at nine o'clock on Thursdays that's an activity meditate on that And if your attention lapses, again, we just bring it back. Coming back to the breath and making no big deal about it. It's an activity that has a beginning and an end. This is the meditation period. And the intention is to stay present to it. The brushing of the teeth, 
the washing of the dishes. And just keep training your puppy. Without judgment. Without struggle.
intention is always presence to what is happening in the moment. Coming back to self. Arriving at your own door. Just continuing to choose that. Take our last moments to be with whatever you find, whatever is there. Keep it simple. Keep your smile. Be patient with you. Always remembering to have compassion for your heart. The richness that's inside of you. And it does come from the inside, not the outside. You are wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. You are just you. Loving, soft, kind, generous, you. You to yourself. You can always find a sense of core peace under most circumstances, but it has to be a choice to pay attention mindfully to the being that you are and that you live with and that you feed and that you care for. 24-7. So before we close, I want to read you a poem called Salutation to the Dawn by the 5th century poet Kalidasa. Listen to the salutation to the dawn. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the verities and realities of our existence. The bliss of growth, somebody is, is unmuted. Um, Thank you. The bliss of growth, the splendor of beauty. For yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well spent, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. Such is the salutation to the dawn. So as we always do, we end by thanking our minds, bodies, and spirits. Thank your mind and body for what they offer you today. Honor the stillness you achieved. Treasure your spirit for its willingness. And you might say silently in your head after me, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well and whole to whatever degree possible. May I be safe and free from danger. May all beings 
to whatever degree possible, be safe and free from suffering. May I be peaceful and at ease. And take this into your day with you, into your week, and practice. Each day, practice a little mindfulness. After you hear the bell and the recording stops, just gently come back to your space. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Swallow, take some water, and gently return. <laughs>